In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to create your own WhatsApp chatbot using Dialogflow and Twilio. So before we get started building our uh, Twilio and Dialogflow chatbot, let me quickly show you a demo of what we are going to build. So this is a Dialogflow chatbot. Uh, let me say hi. And it says, hi, how are you doing? Uh, let me say book a table. Sure, I can book a table for you. Please tell me your name. I'm sure. For how many adults? Four. Okay, now it's asking, when would you like to book the table? Please tell me the date and time. Tomorrow at 6 p.m. Lastly, can I have your email address? Right. Cool, so it says, thank you. Your table has been booked for four adults and three children's. Uh, you you will receive a confirmation email on this to this shortly see you and then a date so you can see uh, this is how a Twilio whatsapp chatbot works and uh, so before we get started on uh, building this Twilio chatbot using dialog flow uh, let me tell you some quick terms so I can give you this link and if you go to this link you can see something called Twilio Sandbox for WhatsApp. So the bot we will build now will be a sandbox chatbot. Okay, And what that means is that in sandbox environment you cannot have your phone number. Uh, Twilio will provide you a phone number and that phone number will be used for your WhatsApp chatbot. Uh, to send a message in WhatsApp production, you have to wait for WhatsApp to formally approve your account. So if you see, they have written here, in order to use WhatsApp in production, you must first submit your use case for review by WhatsApp. Um, yeah, and then you have to complete some request access form. So right now we will use a sandbox environment so here it says to get started building and prototyping your application immediately Twilio has created a sandbox environment so the sandbox environment allow you to send and receive pre-approved template message to number that joins your sandbox so I will show you how can you create a sandbox and how can you allow your friends to join your sandbox using a shared Twilio test number so this number will be provided by Twilio and uh, you can basically use it for building your uh, WhatsApp but remember it will be a sandbox environment okay so with this information let's see how to build your chatbot dialog flow WhatsApp chatbot using Twilio right so first of all you need to log in into your Twilio account okay and then <clears throat> click here on programmable SMS so once you click here uh, you will see this link WhatsApp click on that and then you will see this screen so it says set up your testing sandbox to send messages with whatsapp in production you have to wait for whatsapp to formally approve your account which we have already talked about but that doesn't mean you have to wait start building twilio sandbox for whatsapp let you test your app in development environment to begin testing connect your sandbox by sending a whatsapp message from your device 
to this 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 number with the code join attention why so all you need to do is save this phone this phone number uh, in your contacts okay I have already saved it and then just send this code join attention why so you might see something else here so whatever you see just send that to this number from whatsapp so let's try that so <clears throat> i have already saved this number if you can if you see uh, it's same number here 4155238886 okay so i have saved it as twilio whatsapp now all i need to do is just send this message to connect with the sandbox so here it says you are all set the sandbox can now send and receive messages okay so this is the first step done and here it says message received congrats your whatsapp number is now linked to sandbox next let's send a one way message so you can actually try it out so send a one way whatsapp message okay so try sending one of these templates just click on this template and uh, the template actually says your appointment is coming up on this this, this and so and so so your appointment is coming up on uh 21st july at 3 pm you if you want you can change this and this but you cannot change the template because this is the template then that you need to use so i'm not going to change anything i'm just sending this is my number so i'm just going to make a request and you can see i got a message okay fine <clears throat> now go to next step which is two way messaging so here it says uh, now that you have used a template to send one way message let's learn about two way messaging so in real world scenarios when a user replies to your outbound message or sends your direct message a 24 hour two two way conversation window is created now you can freely converse with your customer during that time so what it is trying to say is uh, if you try to send a whatsapp message to a brand new number you cannot see a free message or a you cannot see a random message to a brand new number you can only send a template and that template needs to be approved by whatsapp so once you send a template message to a user and once the user replies to your message then you have a 24 hour window in this 24 hour window you can freely converse with your customer and you can say send any message without the use of template so it's just a mechanism to avoid spam so to repeat uh, for a brand new number you can only send a template okay once a user replies to you then you have a 24 hour window in which you can send any message to your customer after 24 hours again you cannot send any random message you can only send those pre approved template so i hope that is clear so now let's send a message from here hi and uh, it is waiting for message and yeah it got it so it says uh from this number to whatsapp so message received you now have 24 hours between your sandbox and your whatsapp account without the use of template so now <clears throat> we have a 24 hour window that means in this 24 hour i can send any message or just anything uh, i don't have any limitation of any template or anything so like here it says this is an editable text message you are free to change it and write whatever you like so i can just write anything here um anything make request and you can see 
so I received that message in my WhatsApp. So you can see that my WhatsApp and Twilio has been connected. So if you click on next, it says configure. Uh, all right. So now let's see how can we connect our dialog flow. Okay. So that this uh, WhatsApp chatbot can connect to dialog flow and basically the the bot can work so let's go to dialog flow and let's create a new agent let's call it <clears throat> twilio agent okay all right so our twilio agent is created and we have got two uh, intents one is default welcome and one is fallback so let's quickly create another intent let's call it book a uh, movie um, or let's call it book a cab you can call it anything for testing. I'm just calling it book a cap. Um, let's add some training phrases. Book a cap. Book a car. Let's add uh, some parameters. So. Uh, just use sys.any what's your pickup location drop me What's your drop location? Uh, let's leave these two only. Okay. And then finally in the response. Okay. I have booked a car from pickup to Alright, so this is just for a quick testing purposes. You can definitely do more things, but for now I'm just using only two parameters, pick up and drop. Okay, so let's quickly test it here. Book a car. What's your pickup location from Pune? Up location Mumbai. I have booked a car from Pune to Mumbai. So, okay, our dialog flow is working. Now, let's connect it with our Trilio. So, go to integrations and click on Trilio text messaging and enable it. All right, so once you enable it, you can see a couple of options here. So first is account SID. So go to your Twilio and uh, uh, go to home. So in the home, you should see the account SID here. Okay. Just copy it and paste it here. Now next is account token. So this is the auth token. One thing you should keep in mind is don't share it with anyone. This is like your username and password. So never share it with anyone. Uh, I have just created a test project. So I'm going to delete these credentials. So that's why I can show you. But uh, yeah, you should not 
share it with anyone just keep that in mind so this is the account token and your phone number right now next you need to what you need to do is copy this request url just copy it and here uh, in the sandbox configuration under whatsapp just paste this okay and yeah just save it don't need to do anything here just in this one all right so now one more thing uh, click on start okay uh, yeah and you should see bot has been started and now just say hi and it says greetings how can I assist and now if I say book a car should ask what's your pickup location so I should say something what's your drop location All right, so for some reason it didn't took Gurgaon, but okay, it took Noida. So it says, okay, I have booked a car from Delhi to Noida. So you can see how easy it is to build a WhatsApp chatbot using Dialogflow and Twilio. Um, again, it, this is a sandbox chatbot. So I will create another video uh, for how to create a WhatsApp uh, chatbot in production. Uh, there are several steps involved in that such as request access form you also need to have a Facebook business manager ID so I can create another video for that uh, but this is a quick uh, introduction into how to create a whatsapp chatbot using Twilio and Dialogflow so I hope you like this video please click on like button and Please share it with your friends and please subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you.